Hey, for the this week as we go into Holy Week, the week before Easter, I want to to have a, what I call eight days of Easter. We're going to look at what Jesus did each day during that last week leading up to the cross and ultimately to the resurrection. And uh, so we're going to do this every day for the next few days this week. And I hope it'll be helpful to me as you think about Easter and celebrate Easter this week. And I want to begin today with uh, Palm Sunday. Uh, this is today's Sunday, and we're going to talk about what, what is often called the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And it's found in all four Gospels. You can find an account in all four. Um, they vary a little bit differently, but, but it's different perspectives. But what I want to focus on today, the Bible says that Jesus told his disciples to go get, that they would find, they would go to Bethpage, a city that was near, and they would find uh, a donkey tied up with a colt right beside it. And uh, that he, they were to bring both animals. And when they did, Jesus sat down on the colt, the smaller animal, which is an interesting choice. Um, I want to read from Zechariah 9.9. 9. Zechariah prophesied this 500 years before Jesus came. And notice what he says. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Now what's important about that? What's significant about that, that he chose to ride on a, a colt a, of a donkey instead of on a horse? Well, in biblical times, a horse symbolized power, conquest, victory. Um, it was something to do with political power. But a donkey had a different reference. Uh, a cult of a donkey had the idea of uh, one who came not as a conquering hero, but as one who came to serve, came in a, a humble way. And, and so then you look, we see already the different expectations, the people... They hailed him as king, but he's trying to point out to them that I'm not a king like any other king you've ever had. And I think that's important for us to remember as well. Jesus didn't come to set us free from political tyranny. He came to set us free from sin, from spiritual bondage. And we can still hail him and sing, Hosanna, help, save the one who's coming. Um because he's come to save us from our sins. And uh, I hope when you celebrate Palm Sunday today, you remember that your king has come, not at riding in victory to conquer and rule over you, but to serve and to set you free by the sacrifice salvation you make. So I hope you enjoy Palm Sunday today and remember that your king has come, come to set you free. Thanks, we'll talk tomorrow.